On October 4, 1984, Sankara, in a major international platform, the United Nations General Assembly, our economic ambition is to use the strength of the people of Burkina Faso to provide, for all, two meals a day and drinking water. On social media, Traore has been referred to as Sankara Incarnate. Amid a major famine in Western Africa that had ravaged Burkina Faso, Mali, Chad, and Niger in the early 1980s, Sankara staged a coup against the French leadership in Burkina Faso on August 4, 1983. The Pan-African Revolutionary would go ahead to win the hearts of many citizens of Burkina Faso by introducing measures to address foreign debt and extreme hunger that had caused excessive suffering. While hunger remains one of Burkina Faso's main challenges today, insecurity is an even bigger problem. Traore has pledged to fight extremist violence and has called for support from new allies, including Russia. He says his soldiers need training, equipment, and intelligence gathering to up their game against the militant extremists. Ever since assuming the position of interim president in Burkina Faso, Ibrahima Traore has remained steadfast in his commitment to bringing about significant transformation and enhancing the well-being of his fellow citizens. Despite being relatively new to the international stage, Traore has garnered attention due to his outspoken nature, unwavering preference for military attire, and unique way of greeting peers and colleagues. While his leadership may not be universally acclaimed, the people of Burkina Faso have developed a deep admiration and affection for their leader. In this comprehensive video, we will explore seven major initiatives initiated or continued by President Ibrahima Traore, shedding light on how his visionary leadership is reshaping Burkina Faso. 7. Modernization of Burkina Faso's Road Network The construction project industry in Burkina Faso has seen growth over the last few years, driven mainly by government investment in infrastructure development. The government has made efforts to attract foreign investment in the sector, and there has been an increase in private sector involvement in the construction of roads and highways. One of the major road infrastructure projects in Burkina Faso is the Ouagadougou-Jibasso Highway, which is expected to be completed in 2023. The project involves the construction of a 233-kilometer highway connecting the capital city of Ouagadougou to the Jibasso region in the northern part of the country. The project is being financed by the African Development Bank and the European Union and is expected to cost around 118 million euros. Another major road infrastructure project is the Zaktuli Interchange, which is being built on the outskirts of the capital city of Ouagadougou. The project involves the construction of a 300-meter-long bridge and the expansion of the existing road network to reduce traffic congestion. The project is expected to be completed in 2022 and is being financed by the Islamic Development Bank and the government of Burkina Faso. The industry outlook for roads and highway infrastructure projects in Burkina Faso looks promising, with continued government investment and increasing private sector involvement in the sector. The government has plans to construct new roads and highways in the country to enhance economic growth and connectivity. The country's strategic location within West Africa makes it a gateway to other countries in the region, and this could attract more investment into the industry. 6. Ouagadougou Airport, a transformational aviation hub The development of the Ouagadougou Airport marks a significant milestone in Burkina Faso's journey toward progress. President Traoré's administration secured loans totaling $61.8 million from the West African Development Bank and EOA Bank for this ambitious project. While the planning for this airport predates his presidency, his unwavering commitment ensures its successful completion. The West African Development Bank's $51.5 million contribution covers roadworks, water systems, emergency service facilities, equipment purchases, and the construction of essential technical buildings related to the project. The EOA Bank for Investment and Development has committed $10.3 million for the construction of administrative buildings. The holistic economic impact of this airport project is estimated at a remarkable 420 million euros. Importantly, its construction is expected to generate nearly 5,000 direct and indirect jobs. Furthermore, a captive solar plant and storage system will provide 80% of the airport's electricity requirements, emphasizing Burkina Faso's commitment to sustainability. Although the project faced a temporary setback due to a building collapse at the construction site on December 30, 2022, President Traoré announced its resumption. 
Upon completion, this airport will be a game changer for Burkina Faso's connectivity and economic prospects. 5. Nurturing community entrepreneurship for resilience. In recent years, Burkina Faso has grappled with the challenge of terrorist attacks, which pose a severe threat to stability and economic development. To address this multifaceted issue, President Chorore initiated a program aimed at strengthening resilience through the establishment of community-owned businesses. Under President Chorore's leadership, a community entrepreneurship program was launched with the aim of stimulating indigenous and inclusive development. This visionary initiative seeks to foster the creation of community businesses specializing in the production, processing, and marketing of local products, particularly in sectors such as agriculture, mining, and industry. It also places significant emphasis on generating job opportunities for young people, a demographic crucial to the nation's future. Importantly, the community businesses created through this initiative will be solely owned by the people of Burkina Faso. This community shareholding approach is seen as an effective strategy to address economic, social, and political challenges as affirmed by Finance Minister Abubakar Nakobo. The program's initial phase includes the expansion of a tomato paste manufacturer called Sofet, incorporating two new processing plants, and the establishment of a semi-mechanized gold mining company that will operate on free sites. Additional projects in the pipeline comprise agricultural mechanization and intensification projects with the goal of creating 1 million direct jobs within two years, along with the establishment of a central purchasing office for local produce. Subscription options are accessible to all Burkinabi, both at home and abroad, with no limit on the number of shares they can purchase. 4. Samandeni Dam, Enhancing Food Security and Rural Growth The Samandeni Dam project, backed by a $10 million contribution from the Abu Dhabi Fund for Development ADFD, is a monumental endeavor aimed at advancing Burkina Faso's strategic objectives. This project forms an integral part of the Samandeni Basin Development Program, designed to promote sustainable growth in rural areas and improve living conditions. The project scope encompasses the construction of a 2,900-meter-long and 23.9-meter-high earth dam capable of storing a staggering 1 billion cubic meters of water. Additionally, a 2.9-megawatt power plant is part of the project, further emphasizing the commitment to sustainable energy solutions. The comprehensive work also includes the establishment of irrigation systems to reclaim 1,500 hectares of agricultural land in the dam basin. Although this project was not initiated by President Traore, his involvement in its advancement underscores his dedication to transformative development. 3. Renewable Energy, a sustainable power generation focus. Burkina Faso has been proactively pursuing renewable energy projects to diversify its energy sources, expand electricity access, and promote sustainable development. Since President Traore assumed office, the capacity and rigor of these projects have intensified, with a strong emphasis on solar energy due to the country's abundant sunlight. One noteworthy initiative is the Rural Electrification Program ELEN, which aims to provide solar-powered mini-grids and solar home systems to rural communities. This initiative aligns with the nation's commitment to sustainable energy solutions. Large-scale solar power plants, such as the Zuli Solar Power Plant with a capacity of 33 megawatts have also been successfully constructed. In addition to solar power, Burkina Faso is actively exploring biomass and biogas projects that utilize agricultural waste for energy production. These initiatives collectively contribute to expanding electricity access, reducing dependence on fossil fuels, mitigating climate change, and fostering sustainable economic growth in Burkina Faso. 2. Water and Sanitation Transformation for Public Health Burkina Faso faces significant challenges related to water scarcity, inadequate sanitation facilities, and poor hygiene practices, especially in rural areas. To address these pressing issues, the country has undertaken extensive water and sanitation projects aimed at improving access to clean water and promoting better hygiene practices. These transformative endeavors include the construction and rehabilitation of water supply systems, such as boreholes and pipe water networks, to provide safe drinking water to communities. Additionally, sanitation infrastructure projects focus on the construction of latrines, public toilets, and wastewater management systems, all of which contribute to raising sanitation standards. 
A crucial component of these efforts involves hygiene promotion campaigns that raise awareness about proper hygiene practices, including regular hand washing and responsible waste management. The combined impact of these water and sanitation initiatives is notable as they contribute to reducing waterborne diseases, improving public health and enhancing the overall quality of life in Burkina Faso. 1. Agriculture and rural development foster sustainability and livelihoods, these initiatives address a range of challenges, including low agricultural productivity, limited access to markets, and the adverse effects of climate change. One prominent aspect of these projects involves the promotion of modern agricultural techniques such as cultivation agriculture and agroforestry. These practices aimed to improve soil fertility, enhance water management, and increase crop yields. Furthermore, the construction and rehabilitation of irrigation systems and water harvesting infrastructure play a crucial role in mitigating the impacts of drought and enabling year-round farming. Rural development projects are equally vital, with a focus on enhancing rural infrastructure. This includes the construction and maintenance of rural roads, the establishment of marketplaces, and the development of storage facilities. These endeavors facilitate transportation, reduce post-harvest losses, and connect farmers to markets, thereby improving their income and economic opportunities. Capacity building programs are also a key component of these initiatives, providing training and technical support to farmers. These programs empower them with knowledge and skills in sustainable agricultural practices, financial management, and entrepreneurship. International organizations, bilateral donors, and national institutions have been instrumental in supporting these projects through funding, technical assistance, and knowledge sharing. Collectively, these agriculture and rural development initiatives contribute to enhancing food production, reducing poverty, and promoting sustainable rural livelihoods in Burkina Faso. Overall, President Traoré's mega projects are a positive development for Burkina Faso. They have the potential to address some of the country's most pressing challenges, such as poverty, food insecurity, and energy shortages. The successful implementation of these projects will be essential to Burkina Faso's long-term development and prosperity.